In short, system-made video backups were causing my storage to get filled up. If you are lucky, your internal storage on your phone looks something like this. If you are unlucky, your internal storage looks something like this. If you are the latter case and you have tried all the other options uh, you found on YouTube, then I have bad news for you. I think you need to factory reset your phone and I'm going to explain to you why. I have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. I'm running UI version 5.1 and I'm fully updated. And the problem was video editing. If I choose to edit a video, the system saves the original video as a backup. And because I had many large sized videos that I was flipping 90 degrees, the memory got filled up pretty quickly. Even after deleting the video, even after emptying the trash, the video was still occupying the storage space. I have tried to look up tutorials online, but there was no way for me to access these files and delete them. So the backups were there and I couldn't do anything with them and they were filling up my storage to full. So, and because I needed the storage immediately, I needed to continue shooting videos. I decided to factory reset my phone. Maybe the backups are deleted automatically after some time, who knows, but I needed the space right away. To avoid this video backup issue in the future, don't use the default save button, but hit the three dots in the bottom right corner and save as a copy. Afterwards, delete the original and just keep the edited version. This way, the system will not keep the backup and occupy the storage space. If you do need to reset your phone into factory settings to free your storage space, this is how you do it. Important, factory reset deletes everything from your phone. Everything. Back it up. Also, charge your phone to full. First, turn off your phone, hold the volume down button and the side key button at the same time, then click the power off. After the phone shuts down, plug any USB-C cable into the USB-C port on your phone. To my knowledge, it can be anything from headphones to bare cable to cable connected to a laptop or a PC. Now hold the volume up and the side key button at the same time until the Samsung logo shows. And we got into the Android recovery. Use the volume key buttons for navigation and the side key button as enter or confirmation. Now scroll down to the wipe data slash factory reset, hit the side key button, navigate to yes, and again hit side key button. There might be multiple confirmations for the factory reset. After you hit all the confirms, the factory reset will begin. After it is done, it will reboot and then you have to set up your phone as if it was new. Again, before factory resetting, make sure your phone is charged. Make sure your data is all backed up. From then on, when editing videos, use the save as button instead of the default save button and you should be good and your storage should look something like this. All right, bye bye.